We cannot talk about development in our countries or in the region without a strong civil society. So this is important because that's what ultimately we're trying to reach out to. But if you want to do that, you need to have strong capacities within the civil society organizations. That's why we're here. Working with the leaders, talk about capacity development, and then uh, after that we should be able, should be able to, 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 to perform because you cannot give what you do not have. We want to celebrate their capacities and build what they already have. Generally, I consider the program quite apt and quite interesting, and if you consider the overall goal of it, um, trying to develop those of us who want to be, uh, who are in the middle level management uh, in governments now, I find it quite useful because the challenge of understanding what leadership itself is, we are aspiring to be leaders, uh, thinking strategically and ensuring that we have productive outputs in what we do. We find the content quite apt and we, quite, we also find the uh, content very user friendly. I must say that it's an opportunity that the Institute is providing for us who are in civil society. Sometimes we are challenged to say that we want to be agents of change, but we don't have the prerequisite tools. Uh, this training definitely is preparing us to be better leaders and transformative leaders, so I will say I'm quite impressed. I don't like to call it institute because, I mean, I mean that's how you call it, but I perceive this as a movement, something that will go a long way with us. Something, because the, the program has planted or seed within me, right? I don't know about other participants, but as a young leader in civil society with, you know, not much experience, this training has planted a seed in me that will flourish in, in time to come. I will help my organization grow. Um, and I will help my organization succeed. And I, I say this because we have been the leadership trainings, you know, leadership trainings here and there, but then a leadership training that is driven towards grooming transformational civil society leaders is just outstanding. And, and there, were, there are things within the training that really stood out for me. And I remember one of our facilitators said that we have control over 90% of what happens around us. And that alone is inspiring. Because sometimes we feel that we are powerless, we look at all of the challenges in civil society, we look at all of the problems that we are faced with every day, and we think that we cannot do it. But then the fact that we can manage, you know, ninety percent of what happens around us, I mean we have control of our lives, we have control of our destiny, and we can influence more change if if we have those skills that we need. And I mean those skills that we are already gathering here. So I'm I'm just so grateful to Waxy. And this program is, I mean, it's just awesome. It's one in a million. The CSLI has been very inspiring. It's been very instructive. And I have learned a whole lot of things that I can apply day to day at work. There is so, it was really, really well thought out. The courses were all thought out. The facilitators were had good delivery, they had good mastery of the content, of the course content, and they were just good. I like the fact that we were a mixed bunch from different organizations, from different countries, and so it gave a broader perspective of the whole of West Africa civil society organization, um, attitude, mentality, our skills, and the way we generally handle things. So I have been able to learn a lot from people's experiences. I have learned from the facilitators. And they are so practical that it's easy to translate them to practices when I go back to my organization. So for me, I think the training is very well needed at this time because you would all agree with me that um, leadership is one issue we have, you know, that cut across boundaries and industries in, in Africa especially. So it's a very good thing that we are looking at leadership. And it's also a very good thing that we are looking at leadership for young people. Um, it's very participatory and it also allows for self-reflection. It's not just an um, event or a program where people just sit and the teachers teach. You actually get a chance to talk about what you're going through in your organization related to what you've been taught as well. And the, our facilitators have been helping out with personal experiences and so forth. So I find it very holistic. The program is very, very relevant. I've been 
uh, privilege to attend other leadership programs in the past, uh, but most of them generally discuss leadership. Some, especially in terms of democrat democratic leadership and etc. But this is the first time that I'm attending a leadership training that specifically targets civil society, um, civil society sector. This is the first time I've been in leadership training that is teaching me about organizational management, strategic planning, people management, personal productivity skill, in addition to the proper leadership um, skills that I have also been gaining from the other places. So, it's so this is so unique, it's so relevant, it's so important. It is a project that should um, enjoy continuity because the lessons I've learned here, you know, there are, there are such lessons that uh, should be propagated. The information, the knowledge that you will learn from Wasi is a knowledge that you cannot even get in the classroom. It's a knowledge that you cannot even get from the professors because the knowledge they teach you is down to earth. It's very practical. They make you even implement it as a group, as a team leaders. So to me, every civil society in Africa should be part of WASI. On <laughs> myself to say thank you to WASI for this, um, as I said, um, initiative. I think it's a wonderful one. And I think we've been discussing how serious WASI has been with this training. Or maybe WASI is generally. I was having a discussion with one of my colleagues and we said we are doing a personal um, plan or something and we're like, look, you only have to write what you can do because WASI will follow you up. There's no way you will write and they won't, so you should be careful because WASI, they've never failed in anything they said they would do so far. So if they said they are coming to visit you in the office, they will come. So you should be careful about what you write. So we want to, we want to thank WASI as well for they showed us a lot of leadership, not just taught us, but showed it. You know, in time management, in excellence, in the way things are done. And I think I've, I've, I've not just learned from the classroom, but also learned from WASI as an organization, what it means to lead. Yeah, so thank you um, to WASI, the management, for this great initiative. I wish WASI all the best. I wish the class of um, 2015 all the best and I pray that we are not just a pay setting class but also in action, in, in, in impact, in leadership um, at a point in time in the life of our societies this call will not feel waxy and I pray, I pray that we are able to deliver.